Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1123. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1123 to 1126, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to do something simple. We just want to put the beginning of the month and instantly have a list of all the dates. So on the answer sheet, if I were to change this to 3 slash 1, 2014, instantly I want the entire list from the 1st to the 31st. If I put 2 slash 1, 2014, I want to see 1 to 28. Now, this video is simply a list of dates. If you want a calendar, which is much more complicated, I have a great video, Excel Magic Trick 907. Now, the first thing we need to do is count how many days are in the given month. Well, if this is our input, we can use the end of the month function to figure out the serial number day for the end of this particular month. We have a start date, comma, and then months. If I give end of the month 1, it'll give me the end of next month. Minus 1 is the end of last month. And 0 is end of the current month. Control, Enter. Now, that's a serial number. If we apply date number format, Control, 1. Date, click OK, it would show me 228. Control Z to undo that. No, I really want to keep that with no formatting because I want to extract from that serial number the actual day. Day will say 28 looking at that serial number. If it's the first of the month, it would give us a 1. So 28. If I change this to 3, 1, instantly that formula, day looking at end of the month, there's 31 days in March. Control Z will leave it at 2 1 2014. Now, that 28 is going to help us down here indicating how far the formula should be copied down. Now, let's start in cell A5 by building just the date part of it. And then we'll worry about uh, turning the formula off when we get past row 28. I'm simply going to say equals and start with our serial number, F4, to lock that. And I'm going to add. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. As I copy the formula down, I'm going to do that by using the rows function and an expandable range. I'm sitting in A5, so I'm going to type A dollar sign 5, lock in the first row reference, colon A5, but not the second 5. Notice 5 locked, 5 not. As I copy this down, that range will expand. That'll turn to 6, then 7, then 8. Rows will simply count how many rows there are. 5 to 5, there's only one row. When I get down to the next cell, it'll be 5 to 6. That'll be 2. Now, if I add 1, we'll always be starting on the second of the month, so I then subtract 1. That's our base formula, Control-Enter. As I copy it down, it will automatically add one day to each date. Now, at the bottom, of course, we get 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and we don't want that. Some other months we're going to need this formula to show. So that's going to be our indicator. When we get past position 28, we need to show nothing down here. Otherwise, we run our formula. So we amend this formula. F2, I'm going to use the if function. Actually, let's copy this. The trigger for when to run the formula or when not is simply if. And in our logical test, we'll use our number incrementer. That rows, that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, et cetera, copying down. Whenever that gets greater than this number of days in the month, F4 to lock it. When that's true, meaning we're past 28, the value, if true, double quote, double quote. That's the syntax for show nothing, a null text string. Otherwise, if that comes out false, then we'll run our formula. Come to the end, close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Control and roll to zoom in. Now we can see we get 28. If I change this to 3 slash 1, instantly I get my full list of dates. 6 slash 1, Control Enter, that's June for 2014, I get 30. So those are formulas for number of days in the current month, or whatever the month is that we type in there, and our formula for incrementing dates down across the rows. All right, we'll see you next trick.